Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm Professor Snape. Morning, Hagrid. Snape? We're Boss of Studios. <laughs> We're Boss of Studios, the game's developer. <laughs> We're Boss of Studios, the game's developer that almost brought you such classics as Deck Splash. And we're here to bring you another game about decks. That's Dex. And we're hoping to make a slightly bigger splash this time. Atlas Cards, a world's drift collectible card game. Accessible as either a standalone game or by crafting a ship mounted item, Atlas Cards will bring in an entirely new audience. Card players. Now you probably haven't heard of it, but there's this niche little site called Twitch where people can't get enough of these funny little card games. Hearthstone, Want, Shadow Universe, Top Donald Trumps. Now imagine a world where Worlds Adrift could be with them. Now what if I told you you didn't have to imagine that world, that that world could be this world? Yeah. This world. We need just 17 pounds and 43 pence to turn this idea into a reality. So dig deep, travelers, and get ready to draw out your decks. Here's a quick reenactment of how an esports card event might go down. So, how does it work? We have basically stolen, I mean, adapted all the good stuff about Hearthstone and Brent and replace it with Worlds of Drift things. What do you call mana shards? Nah, apple shards. What about the visuals? Well, I'm glad you asked. We've already got full 3D representations of everything in the game. So instead of boring cards on a boring table, we'll be brought to life. We'll be the most exhilarating and exciting card experience since Solitaire. Oh no, he didn't. He did, and now he's talking in third person. Classic. So that's our pitch. We'll be expecting a 60% revenue share, promotions, pay rises, our own office, somewhere fancy, like Shitebrook, where Kirk's from. I've been Russell Brand, and you've brought my deck to life.